everyone, this is Karen Kang from AccessoryGeeks.com and I have with me Ryan from RF3. Um, Ryan, why don't you introduce yourself really quickly? Hi, I'm Ryan Sway with RF3 and we produce the RF3 line of headsets featuring our patented Aircom technology. Um, how long have you been in business? We started RF3 in 2000 and um, prior to that we were manufacturing telephones, telephone accessories since like the late 70s. So it's been around for a while. Oh, okay. Well, what do you think um, has been the key to your success? Um, I think I'd have to attribute that to our patented Aircom technology. Mm -hmm. Can you explain a little bit about the technology? Yeah. The uh, Aircom is a sound delivery process using an air tube. So it's a lot like a doctor's stethoscope. So the sounds and the voice that you're hearing are going to be as accurate as if you were live talking to the person. And now with music, it would be like you're live at a concert. Can you name an event that kind of changed the course of your business? The whole proliferation of smartphones has changed our business. Wow. Um, initially, we were more of a better health type product, mm -hmm. kind of a, um, a niche market, if you will. Mm -hmm. And then now with every phone having music capability and our technology being able to enhance the sound of music, I think that's a big turning point for us to kind of go mainstream now. And what do you think was the most memorable moment since you started the business? Becoming a vendor of AccessoryGeeks.com. Wow, so good. Up there is definitely the top two. Well, <laughs> oh, that's great. That's a great answer. Um, what kind of exciting things can we expect from RF3? Um, for this year, for 2011, we're launching a artist program where we have different musicians endorsing our products. Mm -hmm. um, the big one right now is our RF3 Live for Joseph Vincent. Mm -hmm. And Joseph Vincent is a YouTube sensation. Mm -hmm. He was on Ellen, the Ellen Show a couple times, won the Ellen Award for like up and coming artists. And uh, he's doing really well. And so we're very excited to have him behind mm -hmm. with us. Um, what makes working with Accessory Geeks different from working with other vendors? Um, well, first, I think you guys have a great customer base, and it's something that we're trying to uh, trying to gain more of those type of customers. Mm -hmm. And then the other things, I rarely get to get on camera, so this is a great opportunity. Um, and uh, I think it's just a good outlet for people to, you know, for us to have an outlet to teach people about our product. Mm -hmm. What do you think sets you apart from other vendors? Um, I think our... That's a kind of a hard question to yeah. answer, huh? Yeah, that's kind of... I would say our, our quality of service and um, how we want all of our customers, including our uh, dealers and distributors, to have kind of an experience, an RF3 experience. Mm -hmm. You know, so you're not just buying a product and you know getting a box of stuff and shipping it to your next customer. And we'd like to have opportunities like this to you know meet the people we sell to and the people that work for that company and so forth. So I think well, that's the difference. Our interviews are um, designed so that you know we get to know our vendors and that um, our vendors can also introduce our products and that we can endorse or not endorse, but we can um, get our vendor's name out there to the public so that we can also help with the sales. Now, just a few more questions. What's your favorite thing about our site? I, let's see, the favorite thing of your site, um, I actually like the way that you list the products. Star Wars or Star Trek? Star Wars. How come? I think every kid wanted to be Han Solo or um, Luke Skywalker, so, and I like Yoda. Can you make the Yoda sound? I cannot make the Yoda sound. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me see. What is your um, company culture like? What do? What is the long term goal for RF three? Our long term goal um, is to one get our technology out to every cell phone user. Mm -hmm. We think it's a technology that every headset should have, and then our culture is. Pretty much laid back and just more 
people oriented. Mm -hmm. So rather than customer numbers, we'd like to put faces to numbers. Do you ever wear a Star Wars uh, shirt to work? No, you probably would catch me in a Lakers shirt, Lakers shirt? or the Star Wars shirt. All right, well, that wraps up our interview. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate you taking the time. Great. Thank you for having us. Thank you. And that's it.